Hey guys, my name is David Marks. Welcome to my shop here in Santa Rosa, California. I do classes here on wood turning, hollow vessel turning, and gilding and chemical patination. We've got a class going on right now with about 10 students here. So let's take a walk into the other room and see what everybody's working on. Hey, I'm just being thinking. He's a businessman. Uh, All right. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I just want to hear you. Oh, I've done that. Is that on the I see a situation <clears throat> where I've got patination, and I remembered what you were talking about. Uh, you can even do something like a, a really dark streak through the middle and just let it feather off to where right. it isn't Right, that's what I was trying to do, is not get where it's completely, and then I made it put a... You <coughs> maybe cut it out of wax paper or something. Right, and then put it on as a resistance. Or a leaf. Just take yeah. a leaf and stick yeah. it in there and, uh, you know, like actual leafing. So yeah, this, so is, this like needs about 30 drawing. minutes, right? Well, once, once all the metal is done, then we'll, we'll mix up the chemicals and do the patinas. Oh, okay. And then after the patinas dry, you can come back and just hand brush stuff all the way around those edges. So, the reds, 
and then also you can put a clear coat on it yeah. and then just lightly sand it. You might be able to cut through some of those raised paint areas and explore, expose more paint. Plus, we can the organized. The organized part of those. Yeah. <laughs> For my first well. <laughs> Organized randomness. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And if, if some little tip up comes through, Okay, well, that'd be great. Just All right. So the combination of these two chemicals will give you sort of a bronze color on copper as well as the uh, Dutch metal. And this is the one where you use a half? This is the one where I use a half. So I've already uh, placed a quarter teaspoon of chemical in there. Now that's the one that I like to use on either copper or Dutch metal. But it's going to give you kind of a, uh, almost a bronze into kind of a reddish magenta color in the middle of your bloodstream. So the stuff looks like gunpowder, it's just like a, a black chemical. So basically what happens is that when you put the chemicals on the surface, <clears throat> they're going to start to etch and burn into that metal right away. The potash, uh, potash sulfuretted. You can tell by that, that yellow color. That yellow smell. And that yellow smell, absolutely. Then you can slap it on or just a little? Uh, what you, what you, you're doing it correctly, just sort of brush it onto the surface, really accelerates the process. If you're in, in an area where you don't get sun, where you know, like some guys might be working out of you know, Chicago or some other place where they don't get too much sun, uh, typically what I say is just to wrap it with a tissue paper, and then it's set for probably about 45 minutes. You don't. That's why you buy the video. <laughs> I bought the video. That's not how you guys. We sing just what the world. Okay, guys. Got something interesting to show you. He's going to start to take the tissue paper off. So you can see uh, the uh, chemicals that reacted there. And then it's going to continue to, to develop as it dries. So as it dries, <clears throat> those colors are, are going to get, become you know, more, more, more blue and more red will develop. You want to dry in the shade or sun? Uh, we'll, we'll dry in the sun. Okay. Yeah, wow. so I just, uh, I just let it do its thing there. Okay. Basically what's happened is that the, the chemicals have Very etched nice. their way to the surface to, uh, yeah. and then as they start to dry they're yeah, going to yeah. basically bloom into a red and a blue Did it leave it on long enough? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <coughs> it's going to keep going, isn't it? A little, yeah. For a little while. It'll coast for a smidge. Yeah. And it's, um, Ooh, that's so pretty, Joy. Oh, let me see it. Ta-da! Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I would go with the sodium sulfide. It's got to be like a 10 second application. Because <coughs> it's going to react really quickly. Uh, <laughs> ready to blow it? Yep. David, I need expert opinion. <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. And who said I wasn't shallow? <laughs> Look at that. Wow. The natural beauty of walnut. Yes. <laughs> Makes, makes up for all the talentless <laughs> effort. Yeah, I see a bunch of talent going on there. 200 pound swordfish. Okay, and that'll really, you know, punch it up. Okay. So the same thing that we're doing underneath the leaves. Beautiful. Right? Yeah. Just to really dress up the edge. Real white, similar color, so fine. Keeping it the nice blues and like the color patterns. Okay. Um, and basically, I would do that. Well, that's not the kid. I'm going to call it. No, but well, there's the pan paint in the kit. Yeah, you might have. And I'll give you a little bit of powder. Wow. That looks good, Bob. Oh. Ready? It has chip left. I don't think it's good. Ooh. I don't know. I'm still going to paint it. Great. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah. $100. $100. Yeah. 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 Yeah.